And he's got an Alabama transfer in the backfield with him. This is Marcus Green, the receiver. Missed the first man and is able to take it out for a gain of two. And they hand it off to Derek Gore. He breaks free. Gore carries the Warhawks past midfield and into Aggie territory and a bruising 29-yard run. Here's senior, originally from Syracuse, New York. Here comes a safety blitz. Evans goes the opposite way. Tremendous diving knockdown by Tyrell Dotson. Evans hands it off to Derek Gore, and Gore gets swallowed up. And he goes the wrong way for a couple. Cole's guy, Justin Matabuke, and Monroe. Four wideouts, pressure coming, they got their sack. It's a loss of eight. Donovan Wilson for on the season. A lot of pressure early to get these guys going. Jared Porter punts it away. Rashad Paul takes a fair catch at about the 16. Williams is the running back as he operate out of the pistol. And they're going to go with quarterback run on first down. Iman gets shoved out of bounds, but a flag back in the middle of the line. Holding, offense number 81. 10-yard penalty, repeat first down. It's a team that likes to bring pressure a lot. Travion Williams lowers his shoulder, is able to pick up five hard yards. Following the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, number three in the defense. It's a 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. That's Colin Turner, who had 10 tackles. Option pitch, here's Travion. Loses the first, cuts back, uses his power and his legs, and he pounds his way inside the 50 and another flag. Gain of 21. A There's no foul for a personal foul on 58 White. He lost his helmet but did not participate in the play. The play results in a first down. They bring an extra man or two over the middle complete. That's Osmond with a grab. And a gain of 13 as they try to get him going and more involved in the offense. They show pressure. Mon takes off on his own. He's got room on the right side. He's got great blocking from Osmond. And he's able to peel off of his hip and turn it into a gain of 23. Mon takes off. Gillespie blocking for him. And Mon with a flag on the play goes into the end zone but might be coming back. 12-yard touchdown run. Holding, offense number 81. 10-yard penalty, repeat first down. It's the second time Sternberger's been flagged. He... Travion Williams, monster game week one, gets down the sideline here to the pylon, and he is out at the one-yard line. Well, they're going to actually have him at the three-yard line. Mon stumbled, Williams to the line and they'll be looking likely at a first and goal. Sam Miller first and goal. Williams straight ahead. Churns, powers and leads in for the Texas A&M touchdown. Sean Harding the first man there and Travion Williams put him on the Kyle Field turf and went right through him. First and ten. And Caleb Evans takes it himself for a gain of nine. Austin Vaughn is the new running back for ULM, and the guy nicknamed Bus gets his first carry. Over the middle. Plenty of running room. And a first down on a gain of 17. They're way early. It's back to Bus. In the bus stop, up such a fight as they did game one. They fake the toss. Evans trying to bend it back the other way, can find two, and that's it. Matabuke there. Quickness that he attempts to use. That's Bobby Reynolds, the center for ULM, and he's just going to bowl into him. Out to the perimeter and off the hands of Marcus Green. Rashad ba Paul back to return. And Paul will say fair catch as the ball sails over his head. 6'10", chemistry teacher in middle and high school. Visit the College Football Playoff Foundation website at www.cfp-foundation.org. Gloria, what do you got to do to get a guru title? I can hit you. Williams for the first down. Yeah, you got to at least have one guy win a Heisman Trophy. Most of it. Well, he's primarily self-taught as a both quarterback and a teacher. This mind 
converts that one to Sternberger. It's not one philosophy that he developed or came up with a long time ago. It's just a conglomeration of knowledge. Again. They only bring three. Mon goes down. They get to him with a three-man rush. Cortez Cisco Jr. in on his first sack of the season. This game is the fourth or first quarter gets under four minutes. Already one big Sun Belt win against the SEC today. North Texas put it to Arkansas. Vitamently. Impressive start for Ed Ogeron. They're going for the deep ball here, and it is overthrown. By the way, I misspoke a moment ago. North back for ULM. A little toss sweep to Marcus Green. Turns the corner, has room. This is Green tight roping down the sideline, and they'll say it was an 18-yard run. Scrimmage, having leverage, not letting anything get outside of you. Already a couple times we've seen you. Here comes a corner blitz. They go right there, and it's knocked away. Charles Oliver. Out their way. Pressure coming from the edge again. Evans trying to escape on third and ten. And somehow he sneaks through to make it close. Lost his helmet, and the flags will come down. It's an eight yard run. It looks in the open last week. Personal foul, face mask, defense number 52. It's a 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Number a shot. Whistle, and they'll stop it. That's what they were doing, a play action, trying to take a shot. Part of the snap, ball start. Offense number four, five-yard penalty, still first down. Eager test coming up next week. They got to play tight on the outside. Great pullback by Caleb Evans. He turns the corner and is just shy of the first down. R.J. Turner up here in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Give it to Gore this time. Pardon me, that's Vaughn, and Bus Vaughn is going to move the pile. Evans looking for man coverage on the edge. Hand fighting and no flag. It was R.J. Turner matched up with Devion Renfro. They fake the toss one way. Evans has to lob it. They'll play on third down. Pressure coming up the middle to the slant. And it's complete, but well shy. R.J. Turner picks up four. His holder is Josh Peterson. Oh, that looks good. And the kick is good from 27 yards out. But it still moves over on the other side. Here's Travion Williams. And he's able to pound his way for a gain of nine. Travion Williams had a Clemson. One thing Jimbo said he wanted to do is establish the run, get back on track tonight. Yeah. Ducks his way through for a first down and a few more. That's why we both. Tonight, it's about getting that run game back and confident going into next week and going into this grueling SEC schedule. Travion Williams takes it as the quarter comes to an end for a gain of five over the right side. He was the honorary captain last week, along with the guy in front of him at Green Bay, Brett Favre, in Hattiesburg, as Mon takes it for four. Third and one. I have formation with Gillespie at fullback. He will lead the way for Travion Williams. And a first down. They bring pressure again. Lots of it. Mon trying to beat the coverage. That's Buckley with the catch. And it's a 22-yard gain for Cameron Buckley. Possession of the night for the Aggies. Play action. Mon, everybody covered. And he overthrows it. Trying to fit it into Courtney Davis. Javion Williams. Turns it up and trying to dance his way to a first down. Here, a defensive end in a four-point stance. Two tight ends in front of him. They cut it back inside those tight ends, including Sternberger and Wood. But sometimes meatloaf tastes good, too, even if it's not the most sexy dish. Here's Williams again. Oh, I love some meatloaf. Yeah? Gain of one, that puts him at 100. On the safety. He loves the middle of the field. Mon, flush, off-platform throws, back corner. There's Sternberger. Good call, buddy. Touchdown AM, but we got a flag back in the backfield. Holding off oh. offensive of 54. It's a 10 yard penalty. Repeat second down. You might have to have a word card. You turn and say, look out! <laughs> second and dime box. Mon hit, and through the hands of his receiver, would have been a heck of a catch. We got a flag as he's trying to fit it into Courtney Davis and Marcus Hubbard. I'm telling you, 
the men in stripes have earned their game checks already and we're only a few minutes into the second quarter. Pass interference defense number nine ball will be placed in the spot of the foul automatic first down. That backside arm grabbed a little too much. The Aggies trying to work their way back up. And four yards in the carry for Travion Williams. Gillespie is split backs here. And I want to throw it to a mind on the run. We decided to cut it up. Looking for a block. Wood will clear it away. And Mond is able to punch it in. Seven yard scramble by Kevin Mond. A workman like 12 plays, 75 yard drive for AM. That plays this far tonight. They have run the ball on 20 of them. Caleb Evans hands it off to Derek Gore. Derek Gore spent for coming out of Syracuse was Buffalo to the slant through the hands of the intended receiver. It would be able to get one seven. Third down and ten. Again to the slant. This one is caught and crawling forward is green. They'll be short of the first down. 47 and 0. See if he gets a chance for a return. And no, he will not. Great job by the war. Pretty good. Mond took a hit right as he finished off that run. And I thought maybe Austin Hawley led with his hat. Yeah. And could have been grounds for targeting. It is reviewable from the booth. Pressure coming on Mond. He gets hit as he throws, and it falls incomplete. One of the things we talked about with Jim Gillespie in front of him, trying to get him to jump. Etwe got hit behind the line and was able to fall over it. Kerry Stark, Emma, by the way. He already has a touchdown pass. Here's Courtney Davis. And Davis will take it around the edge and pick up a first down. Well, there's a way to get a little bit more speed involved, and there's that. Now play action. Stands in the pocket tall and delivers a strike to Sternberger. It's already the eighth catch of the season for Sternberger. Guess what, AM? You got a tight end in the spring game. He said, I thought somebody snuck in. I didn't know what the big deal was. Mod going deep. It is incomplete. Jamon Osmond, the intended receiver. Well, Cole, that's nice to get reacquainted as Mon tries to turn up the middle. In fact, the person standing right next to you, the sideline reporter. <laughs> Third and seven. Mon over the middle, off the hands of Cameron Buckley. Appreciation for how good Damian Craig was as a college quarterback. 40 yard attempt for Seth Small, and the freshman from Katy High School drills it. Small trying to replace Daniel LeCamber. Texas AM. They're still riding that momentum to some degree. And look at the stadium. Yeah. Look at the contract they gave Jimbo Fisher. Look at the value of this, according to Forbes. $148 million in revenue over a three year period, $107 million in profit. They exceed the folks down at Austin, who bring in $133 a year. And the money that's given by their fan base is amazing. And Jimbo Fisher says, We have everything. Pump and go, looking for a deep ball. Evans has the arm. It is caught. Big time first down by Marcus Green on a 44-yard strike. Austin Vaughn picks up four. To be a linebacker, an obvious mismatch most times. Quarterback Caleb Evans will pull it out and keep it. Boy, he hit the brakes. Ooh. Take advantage of it. Third and two. Bus Vaughn straight ahead, and he picks up the first down. Reminder, Texas A&M has a lot of playing time. They're a little bit discombobulated. Yes, that's the word. I know you were searching for it. Vaughn got upset by Kingsley Kiki. Or now tailback. Evans, pop pass over the middle. And Marcus Green with a missed out. We see R.J. Turner here at the top get a jump ball. Caleb Evans off his back foot. Batted away by Devion Renfro. And they go to Turner. Tight up for Craig Ford. He's already made one from 27. And a kick is blocked. Scooped up by AM. And the Aggies have a run back the other way. What a turn of events for Texas AM. It'll be an 80 yard return for Tyrell Dodson.
Jimbo Fisher said, man, he's got a lot more speed than we initially thought. Trying to swing it out and set up a screen. And a reversal of field will end up in positive yardage for Kay and White. Soft that work. It's the second time LSU came back to beat Auburn after trailing big. And here's a big run on the perimeter. This is Marcus McCray. And he takes it all the way into Aggie territory at a 34 yard sprint. The senior from Eulis had a trip. Evans, man coverage down the sideline. And it's caught inside the five goes Zachary Johnson on a 36 yard strike. They got to hurry. Right, Kay and White in the field, in the backfield. And he is stopped after a gain of maybe one. Evans rolling, fires, caught back of the end zone. Touchdown, R.J. Turner. They gave him the run pass option. Game between Clemson and Alabama for AM. and we'll see if ULM can take advantage from the four-yard line. Opportunity for a return. Kwame Ekwe takes it past the 20 and is able to really put up big offensive numbers. The fact that it's still very much a game as we start the second half and a big time stop up front his job but against a team like Alabama in the SEC you always have to have depth and this was a game like you said Tom that they wanted to get Nick Starkle some experience coverage by his offensive line he coughed it up on a fumble third and short Mond first down run a little bit more and he gets ridden out of bounds after a gain of 13 by Austin Hawley. Four man rush again. They go underneath the coverage of Cameron Buckley. Guarantee next week there will be a pass play drawn up off that very same play. On second and three, here's Travion Williams. Jimbo Fisher insisted early on we put every plan week to week based on who they're playing. Third and three. Mon over the middle, incomplete. I got to be honest though, I mean, I think we're going to see a lot more passing in this second half. Kellen Mond has shown he might be the best in. Most important part of this offense and taking on a juggernaut like Alabama. Mark, can either one of those teams challenge Georgia in the East? Well, Jake Fromm was 10 of 12 for 128 and three touchdowns today against Middle Neely. And Florida in the Jim McAway Bowl was able to get a big win as the Gators beat Colorado State 48-40. They get Auburn at home. That is a very tough schedule. Pressure coming. And they get to Evans on third down. And the AM defense behind Kingsley Kiki comes up with a big time stop when they needed it the most. Athleticism coming off the edge. Rashad Paul stands in midfield. Beautiful kick. And Paul takes a fair catch at the 46. It's a Williams. Spins his way for a first down. Between the tackles in the run game. Here's Williams again. Cole, he's moved a lot of hay bales in his time. They pull the left side and they don't have a chance to pick up the blocks. It's a loss of two. Buckley in motion. Safety's come up. Mond gets hit as he throws and he completes it to Jamon Osmond. And the ball came out. They ruled it incomplete. No, it is a catch. Pardon me. And they'll spot it at the little flip out to Osborne. And he takes a chip shot, cuts back in before finally getting taken down by Cortez Cisco. On second and three, Fabian Williams pulling over dudes. Just that. Here's Mon now. Called his own number and he will waltz in. Nine yard touchdown run. Travion Williams helped pave the way for Kellen Mon. Isn't there sweating? <laughs> yeah, a lot of sweating going on. Oh, yeah. We'll bring it out. This is Green. And he'll get dropped at the 16. And two do where else? It's a big peach water tower off of I-85. That's that's southern, boys. You lost me there. Uh huh. Second and ten. Evans to the perimeter. Beautiful throw and catch 
And R.J. Turner's got another big gain for the Warhawks. It's a gain of 28. A&M has been vulnerable to big gains through the passing game. Evans pulls it out, slings it again, and that one's incomplete. Turner popped by Charles Oliver. A&M living in the backfield. Derek Gore gets surrounded, and Kiki there. Not getting away from him. Pressure again. Evans lets it go. Incomplete, just a little bit short for Turner. Alabama's up on Ole Miss 59 to 7. 37 yard punt. Eyes up front will be tested. You have to stop their run. As good as Tua Tungavailoa is, you got to take away one element. And as scary as that is, you got to stop Alabama from running the football and force them into low percentage throws and hope. Tua throws that technically you'd like to have back. Yeah, a few decisions where, especially the, the touchdown late in the game to Kendrick Rogers, if it was in the third quarter, he's got a guy wide open, throws it up. Over. He's still got a bright future ahead of him, and he can and is talented enough to beat Alabama. There's Etwee straight ahead. By the way, Kendrick Rogers is not available tonight. He's out with a lower leg injury. On the outside, you got to have a big athletic guy like that against Alabama. The Maroon Goons give Mon time to throw. Courtney Davis with a first down catch. And now all of a sudden, Calamon is settled into a rhythm. The Maroon. Mon's starting to put the passing game together. Steps in and out of trouble and completes it to Jamon Osmond. We talked about him being able to throw off platform and great feel in the pocket that time. Yeah, this is just unbelievable. Great pocket outside. Pressure coming from the right. Mon stands tall again, but incomplete. Just a hair behind Courtney Davis. And McCoy, their leader at the anchor. They'll pull a couple of them the right side. Etwe trying to follow. And he muscles his way inside the 10. Mon rolling, fires, end zone. Jay Sternberger, but a flag back at the 19 yard line. This is going to be holding again in the exact same play. They threw a touchdown to Sternberger early in the game. It was called back by holding, holding again. Offense number 65. 10 yard penalty. Be third down. As Dan Moore Ju Fifth flag against AM tonight. Mon with an eight man drop. Has nowhere to go with it. Or does he? Touchdown strike to Edwin. That was a laser from 19 yards out. After review, the receiver stepped out of bounds prior to gaining control of the pass. Therefore, the return to the previous spot will be third and 17. Oh, pardon me. And the freshman bangs it through. His second field goal of the night. Maybe the last play of the quarter. And they'll run a reverse with Marcus Green. And Green gets dropped by Tyrell Dodson. Warhawks of Louisiana Monroe down 34 10, and they hit a big one over the middle to Sloan Spiller. And it goes for 15. Bobbled, and they'll say it's caught. Evans keeps it. That'll be a flag. Looks like a hold on Spiller. All right. Took Illinois back, uh, to the Rose Bowl back in the day. That was a long time ago for the Illini faithful. Evans reverses field, scans, and will step out of bounds. Jared Porter's been busy tonight. Rashad Paul, fair catch at the 25. Movement up front. 
And movement from Travion Williams. Pardon me, Jashawn Corbin, the freshman from Florida, is into the game, and he picks up 16. Yeah, that's you take a shot, you just pull it back. I mean, we have two fouls on the play, offside on the defense, holding offensive of Marini. Those fouls offset. Replay first down. There's a third holding penalty on a Texas A&M tight end. Cameron Buckley was talking about him to the media. Here's the freshman Corbin again. This time he picks up the first down and it won't come back. And Buckley referred to him as Jimbo, you know, as opposed to a every single day. One thing that was interesting, though, I think. Mon gets hit again and delivers this strike. It'll be right at the marker to Courtney Davis. And it kind of goes back. Didn't by any stretch of the imagination, but when you play the way you did, 330 yards in the second half against the number two team in the country, possibly the best D-line we have seen. Pardon me, at Oxford, 62-7. to Alabama knocks off Ole Miss. Cumulative score the last two years. Alabama, it's been a fan base that wasn't quite sure. They haven't had the same quarterback start openers in years. Oh, that sneaks through. It's going to turn into a first down to Rashad Paul. Once again, Kellen Mond with a little magic dust. Right after that. Right after that. So Ryan McCollum replaces him at center, and Mond lofts one over the middle. Touchdown, Jay Sternberger. 20 yards out. Chris Green back to return. And no return. The flag is a kick went out of bounds. And he told Coda Martin to sit out for a second, call the athletic training staff over, and they recognized that he was on the field playing for Syracuse in a big upset win against Florida State at home today. R.J. Turner with the reception. Texas A&M offensive lineman, he is not available. The difference being, Tom, this year, I believe Alabama's two best pass rushers play on the interior of their defensive line. They don't have the elite. Step. I've been in the stands. Kiki's going to get to him. Pardon me, it's Bobby Brown that comes in with the sack, along with some help, T.D. Moten. No. Lob down the sideline. Picked off. And m gets the takeaway they've been looking for. Larry Pryor with his first pick. Great job playing safety on that half of the field. ULM again comes back to the double move down the left sideline. And this ball. When you have a safety over the top, has got to be thrown on a lot. Went five of eight against Northwestern State. Only one snap against Clemson. And he will hand it off on first down to Deshaun Corbin. Corbin is able to pick up six. You got to be taught to have a short memory. Sometimes plays like that in the game, the only lost by two will haunt you. So Starkle, they're not going to use him. And this season's not over. They're going to need him down the stretch. You always need two quarterbacks. He's as capable as there is in this league, as talented throwing the football. And you're right. It's extremely. I mean, if you just look at how the season ended last year, I mean, not only is it so frustrating to go down against UCLA the first game of the season, not the guy. So it, it takes a lot of humility. It takes a lot of focus to still prepare and be ready just being one play away when really you thought this should be your team. Corbin straight ahead. I would imagine in that scenario. And had a chance to, to see his mom before the game as well, and she appreciated the encouragement that I've tried to pass along to Nick as much as possible. Beautiful back shoulder throw. Courtney Davis able to haul it in. And they will say it is inbounds for a strike of 25 yards. And it's plays like this that the intangibles for Nick Stark will jump out of the screen. Opposite hash. This is a heck of a catch, too. Wow. Courtney David. So he started this game three for three through the air. And here's Corbin again. And he spins out of the would-be tackle and spun his way for a big game. They didn't shy away from the fact that if they're in a game and they need a spark or they need you name it, X, this season. So you never anticipate being in a hole. But the odds are next week against the double attack, you will be. 
is the freshman Corbin doing his thing, and he's able to pound through 12 yards. So therefore, if and they have two quarterbacks that can really do it for him. This drive started all the way back at the 15-yard line at Lynn in the end zone as Deshaun Corbin picks up his first touchdown as an egg. Hey, you got to get back. It's a big birthday tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Hey. JT Jackson in a quarterback. I'm going to spend my birthday in a football stadium. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But now the test gets tougher as AM returns to SEC play next week. Our final 48 to 10. Let's get you to the studio.